Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna jump into some twin flame leads today. On here, I think I'm gonna use these cards that I used in the live. I know I'm gonna pull some romance angels. I'm not gonna pull that big deck, but I am gonna use the light series too. I like, I like these cards. Let's see what we got for the twin flames, guys, universe, angels, spirit guys, and ancestors. Um, I do like the spread that I did last time, so I'm still gonna do two cards for the feminine, two cards for the masculine, and this time I'll do um two cards for mutual energy as well. And then we'll clarify. So God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and ancestors. What messages do we have for the twin flame that we are going to get a message out for today? What message do we have for the twin flames that we are reading for today? Thank you. These two cards wanted to come out. My deck's upside down in it. Yeah. The Hermit and the Ace of Swords. Got somebody that's in um, solitude here, possibly. Learning, getting clarity here. Or they've been in solitude and they're ready to come out and speak some truth about the clarity that they receive and bring clarity to the situation. So that's just a little underlying energy. I don't know who's dealing with it. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo here with the Hermit energy. Don't got to be, but I'm going to stick those back in there. But they wanted to be seen, so I let them. Okay. So on the bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Pentacles. Somebody single and abundant here or looking good all by themselves. And somebody in this word out on the street about it. Okay. After they retreated, they looking real good and fly. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Two cards for the feminine. The feminine's got the six of cups again <laughs> with the queen of cups. This could be new love. This could be the feminine healing her own love. Starting fresh in love. Then we have the masculine, which has the five of pentacles and the, the nine of wands. He's guarded and feeling out, left out in the cold all in one. And the feminine, she's just... I just feel like she's in her 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 feelings, her feels, you know, with herself, you know, feeling good. She's got a new feeling. She's in a new energy with her emotions here. So that's on the surface. In the heart space, the feminine has the three of wands and the nine of swords. So she's waiting and stressed the fuck out. And in the heart space, the masculine has the chariot. He wants to be victorious. He wants to charge forward. And he wants to heal the situation. He wants to have his wishes fulfilled here. In the action space. In the action space for the feminine. We have the devil here. And the strength card. The feminine is restricted. She is restricting herself. Okay. She's stressed. She's waiting. But she's still restricting herself. And I feel like she could be a little bit afraid. Of what might. You know the outcome. The action of masculine parents to take is the emperor and, and the two of wands. This masculine has made a decision here to take some type of action, to take control of some type of situation here. The mutual energy for the surface level is judgment and the three of cups. So on the surface level, you both have made a decision here that you want to reconcile. In the hard space, you both want to start fresh on your path here with the page of wands and the ace of wands. And then the action space, we got the seven of wands and the eight of swords. Yeah, somebody's in it. In the action place, people are y'all got the mutual energy is y'all have is standing your ground or being guarded and being trapped in your mind about the connection.
Yeah, we're gonna put some clarifiers. My ashtrays need to be empty, all of them. It's a shame. So let's do some clarifications and see why the feminine, cups, the six of cups, and the queen of cups. Tell us about the six of cups and the queen of cups for the feminine, in the on the surface, on the surface level. This feminine could be a um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Tell us about this feminine. The Queen of Cups with the Seven of Cups fell out. Fell out. So she's got options. She's looking at new love. She's a, she's in a new energy here. She's got options, but I feel like she's focused more or less on herself at this time. But there are people looking and there are people checking her out here. Yeah, focus on herself. Why? Because she's healing here. Because she's found out some type of underlying truth about this, some type of some situation here when it comes to this masculine. Yeah, she's got a decision she wants to make. So tell us about the Six of Cups and this Queen of Cups for the feminine, please. Ten of Swords. Yeah, she's putting an end to this. She's walking away. She put an end to it and she's walking away. She's healing herself. Yeah. Well, of fortune, she's, she, she take, she's going through a change here. She's deciding to take a different direction. And she doesn't, she no longer wants to deal with this. So she's focusing on herself, solely on herself, I feel. But I do feel like there are options out looking for her. And I feel like the masculine, he is feeling left out in the cold and guarded here. He could be doing some healing here with the Nine of Wands because that is the Wounded Warrior. And he does heal because he needs to. But the masculine is aware of the competition with the Five of Wands. He senses it and feels it and probably even sees it if he's watching. But he's feeling left out in the cold here. Tell us about the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. For the masculine here. Queen of Wands reversed with the Nine of Cups reversed. The masculine is not feeling confident. He is still suppressing his some emotions that he has in his connection. Pretending that he doesn't have none. He's really standing guarded here. Willing to stay left out in the cold before he expresses how he truly feels is what it seems like. So clarify this Nine of Pentacles and this Nine of Wands for the, for the masculine. Yeah, the chariot. The chariot right here in his heart space. He wants to move forward. On the surface level, he wants to move forward. Page of Wands says he wants to start fresh. Three of Swords and he's heartbroken. He wants to start fresh and he's heartbroken now because you done left him out in the cold and said, forget him. Start thinking about yourself here. Now he won't feel left out in the cold. Now he wants to start fresh. But I do feel like in your heart space somewhere, there is still some waiting taking place here that brings you anxiety here. Waiting on something to come in on some ships with the Three of Wands that's still waiting here. Tell us about the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords for the Feminine. The Three of Swords. I mean, the Three of, three of Wands and the Nine of Swords for the Feminine. Yeah, she found out some type of underlying truth about her Emperor. So now she's retreating from waiting. So I feel like she was waiting in the heart space, but some type of truth came in about a relationship or about his job or about his finances something came in um to this feminine here and she found out what's this four swords here for the feminine clarify this four swords what did the feminine find out that made her want to just say fuck it i ain't waiting no more She could have found a number on the paper. This was just stuck in between my cards. Three of Cups. She found out another person. She found out about him in a relationship. She found out about competition. She found out about him starting something new, possibly. What did she find out here? What's this Four of Swords? Yeah, Six of Swords. She found out that he went into calmer waters here. Knight of Coins with the devil. Okay, yeah. So she found out that he went back to his old ways. Or he went back to his old, the old, whoever this, the karmic is, is what she done found out. Yeah, she found out that he got new love. He could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And here's the Queen of Cups right here, having a tower moment. Finding out somebody's playing games with the magician, trying to play games and hide shit, manipulate shit. Now he, and now here's the masculine, wanting to move forward and heal. What's this? Chariot in the star card for the masculine. Tell us about the chariot in the star card. Hanging man. Definitely could be a Pisces in the mix. 
heavy Pisces energy out here. Okay, but yeah, I fear now this mag masculine wants to move forward because he feels a period of stagnation now. He feels that the feminine has gained a new perspective and she's starting to see him different. Yeah, Hangman is out again with the Five of Swords and the um, Four of Wands. So this masculine sees, he sees that this feminine sees him a new a, a new perspective. It sees him in a new light because of the in it, because of the decisions he made here, bad decisions that he's made. Now he wants to go in a union. Could be dealing with a hermit. Definitely could be a hermit in a mix here. Why is the devil here in the strength card for the feminine's actions? Yeah, I feel like the feminine sees the toxicness in the masculine. She's afraid to deal with him. So she's restricting herself because she just don't feel like she can trust him. I'm hearing no leap of faith taken here. I just don't feel like she has no faith in the situation. Why the devil? Why the devil in the strength card for the feminine? Yeah, the Five of Cups. He's disappointed her time and time again. Five of Pentacles left her out time and time again in the cold. Knight of Pentacles. Been in and out. That's all he's been. She don't want to deal with that. Six of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the Ace of Swords. We're dealing with a Capricorn as well. That feels like you are a wish fulfillment. And you're very happy to them. And they want to express this to you. But strength card under that tells me that you're still going to be restricting yourself. Because you don't feel like you could trust them with the seven of swords. Judgment says that you don't feel like you could trust this person here. Okay. Clarify the emperor and the two of wands. That's I feel like this is the emperor taking action towards you. And you telling them, look, I don't trust you. I know what you did. I got word on the street. I'm not dealing with you. Clarify this emperor and this two of cups. I mean, this two of wands for the masculine. The empress, the seven of coins, and the knight of wands. He wants to fix it. He wants to go back and fix his inconsistency with this empress, which I feel like is you, divine feminine. He wants to go back and fix leaving you out in the cold. And he wants to bring justice to the situation for leaving you out in the cold. High Priestess could be definitely a Pisces in the mix. But he definitely wants to apologize for leaving you out in the cold here. Why the Seven of Pentacles? My ears ringing. Yeah. Nine of Wands. He knows you guard it. And he sees you looking good by yourself. And he knows you made a decision to be by yourself because you don't trust him. And you might even restrict him. But I feel like he's going to try to take some action anyway. So in a mutual energy on the surface level, we have the judgment and the three of cups. So either the feminine is making the judgment call about this three-party situation that she didn't heard about. Or um, they're both wishing to reconcile here. So we're going to find out. Tell us about you know, the world card cycle could be closing here. Tell us about this judgment in this three of cups for mutual energy. Page of cups could be apologizing. Somebody could be somebody the feminine could feel like the masculine owes her an apology and the the masculine definitely feels like he owes an apology here. Yeah, for the deception that he brought in. Six of cups, the knight of swords in the world look the world came back out six of cups knight of swords in the world somebody's want to close the cycle out they want to come in here and speak about this soulmate connection or past something about the past here why the six of cups tell us about the six of cups tell me about the six of cups why is the six of cups here Ten of Cups. Could be the past. You make me happy. This you can bet. Somebody wants to start over. That's what that feels. That's what that song is letting me know. Yeah, King of Cups. With the Four of Coins. And the Palace of Coins. Somebody wants to start fresh in this connection. In this yeah, Palace of Swords. They want to start fresh. They want to start honest. 
they miss you. They don't want to look. They don't want to be this. They, they're they're coming back. They're 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 waking up from confusion in the past here, and they want this love. They want to communicate it. They want they maybe even watching you a little bit, or you watching them. Y'all could be watching each other, but I feel like this person wants to talk about new love, and they want to come in and they want to actually express it. They want to be honest about it. Um, but they don't know how it's going to go. So, But in the heart space, you both got um, new passion, okay? So I don't know if it's with each other, two of swords, or they this masculine. I feel like he definitely wants new passion with this feminine. I don't know if this feminine wants new passion with the masculine. or But this ace of wands, yeah, it's the strength card. This ace of wands is normally my path, my destiny, my path, where you're supposed to be doing so tell us about the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands for the mutual energy between this feminine and this masculine. Death. Tell us about the energy. The High Priestess. Definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. So the High Priestess with the Five of Cups is letting me know that somebody intuitively knows that somebody's been stuck in the past energetically. Or otherwise, and the only way that they're willing to move forward, they will move forward, but it needs to be a death in the situation in order for a rebirth to happen. Okay? And I feel like the masculine is willing to do that. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands with the Eight of Swords it's for the mutual action that the plan that they plan to take. Clarify this. Yeah, we got the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Y'all gonna plan to reconcile with the eight of with the eight of coins and the lovers on the bottom. Somebody, somebody's weighing out the option of having equal give and take, but somebody already has it, has it in their mind. Somebody's bringing in the love. I feel like the masculine's here bringing some love here, an offer to this feminine, and it's going to be up to her. Yeah, see, cause she's the one standing her ground with the seven of wands. She's in her mind. She doesn't know if she's going to accept this or not, and he, he might not even have brought it yet. Palace of wands with the six of coins and the yeah, she's juggling the, whether she's going not juggling, but she's weighing her options on whether she's going to put the work into the situation or not because it caused her a lot of turmoil already. So, tell us more about the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Unexpected income, that's the Ace of Coins energy. To the coffin, yep. This is the feminine saying, I can fo I'm gonna focus on myself. I'm putting it into this, focusing on myself, focusing on my my stability, my emotions. And if you can transform with the death card, then we can talk about that later. Tell us about the five of pentacles and the nine of wands for the masculine, the mature woman. See, you see, she's growing up, she's changing. The, the feminist grew up, she's changed, she's matured, she's not dealing with this bullshit. Yeah, so he realizes he needs to be the mature man. Or if he wants something new with her courtship card, or he's going to be left in despair here. Tell us about the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords for the feminine. Privileged lady, yeah. She's the privilege. I feel like that's the feminine here. Privileged lady. Yeah. The main female, the privileged lady, divine feminine. That's why it stresses her out. Like, I'm the main female. I'm the privileged lady. What do I, why would I, in her heart space, it's a dilemma that she even allows herself to wait on this, I feel. Yeah, poverty. It's a dilemma for her that she even allows herself to stay left out in the cold when she is the privileged lady. She is divine feminine. Okay, so that's why she's like, fuck this. Either you're going to do what you need to do or I'm out. Chariot and a star for the masculine. Clarify. And she probably left already. I feel like she left already. So it's up to him to prove. Great fortune. You know, he knows she great fortune. He knows she all that in a bag of chips. Do you want her or not? Pathway. Yes, he does. He wants this great fortune in this pathway. That's why he's healing. It will heal in this toxicity that you see about him. Clarify the devil in the strength card. And the actions. Yeah, message of concern. With the message. With the sudden wealth. House. 
I feel like the feminine could be moving here to a new home, getting a new car. She getting a gift here, sudden wealth, but I feel like she's concerned that this hog, the masculine, is still toxic when he come in to take this action. He's sending a message to her with this message card, but she's concerned about him still being toxic or even giving in. She wants to resist. She might even think he's here for money here. Why is the emperor here in the two of wands? Clarify this. The emperor in the two of wands. Tell us about it. Yeah, occupation, bad health, and community with toil and labor. So yeah, the masculine is doing he's going through something i don't know what his ass is going through but the motherfucker look like he putting in a whole lot of work and ain't getting paid for it when the people that's supposed to be supporting him ain't doing nothing but stressing him out and giving him bad health and he's trying to bury himself at work yeah that's what this is so tell us about um the judgment and the three of cups judgment and three of cups tell us about the judgment and the three of cups Yep, because he's putting in all that work and ain't, <clears throat> he's get he's getting done what she done what he done to you. You put in all this work and effort and get nothing but a heartache. And now look at him; he's gonna go back to that woman and she doing the same thing. Now he concerned because he putting in all this work and ain't getting shit. Now he want to start fresh with you. And it could be a marriage to the end, but he went on with the lovers and the uh, marriage card. He wants to start fresh in the connection because he made a bad decision and he realizing it now. Page of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands with the Ace of Wands. The house card, yep. Wants to start new. Start fresh. He might even want to gift you something. He might even be the one giving you, buying you a car. He trying to go over the top. Yeah, he's going to be gifting you something, just like I said. Clarify the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Wands with the Eight of Swords. He could be giving you a home. Giving you a new beginning. Yeah, he don't know if it's going to go against him with the adjudication card. Yeah, he's saying, with adjudication, he's saying, look, I want to get on this journey. I honored and let a file aim up his, under his ass. And he don't, he wants to get under his journey. He's changing, okay, because he don't got no choice. Distant horizons, I feel like you're going to hear some type of communication. He's going to take some actions here. Yeah, he's changing. What is he changing? He's changing this false person bullshit. Because you're not going to tolerate it. If he wants to deal with you or you want he wants you to deal with him, then he ain't going to tolerate it. So, what message do we have? Look, I'm going to throw this in. What message would the, would the feminine say to the masculine if they were talking? What does she have to say from her heart space? Not from the anger, from the heart space. Deep down in her heart, what does the feminine have to say to the masculine? No, we ain't using that. Deep down in her heart, what does the feminine have to say to the masculine? All right, we are using them because I'm using them next. What does the feminine have to say to the masculine deep down in her heart? Deep down, deep down. Or it's unconditional love. Yep, deep down. Go to see, imagine. I feel like she be imagining things. She be imagining love with him. Deep emotional love. Yeah, she's ready to co-create. But she knows they're soulmates. And she feels like he is the milk and honey. Or she knows she's the milk and honey. But she knows that they're soulmates. And it's time for them to co-create. So that's what the feminine would tell the masculine. Around and around. She's tired of going around and around with you. She wants to co-create. The higher power. Feminine would like the higher power to step in here because the masculine needs to go to see. He needs to get deep in his emotions. You feel like he needs to heal. Okay, what would the feminine, the masculine say to the feminine? All he can do is think about her with the thinking card. He thinking, all he, he should have supported her. He should have supported her with the community card. But he wants to fix this with the mending card. He wants to fix this. And he wants to be flexible as he can without being broken. He's willing to do whatever it takes you know, to come in and ground the situation with the chop wood. Yeah, coming to the edge to take a leap of faith. Yeah, to have to bring in this new life to you. And that matches with the Ace of Cups. Breathe. Mm hmm Yep, so that's what the feminine, the masculine will have to say. He will want to say to the feminine, and that's what the feminine will want to say to the masculine. And we're going to get some romance angels out here for the feminine. What romance angels do we have for the feminine? What romance angels do we have with the feminine? God, universe, angels, spirit, gods, and ancestors. Message from the romance angels for the feminine. 
messages from the romance angels do we have from the feminine? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, which I do feel like that's what the feminine is in the process of doing or she has done already. As I said, the feminine is focused on herself. She's not really, yes, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. She's taking her power back because the masculine had her fucked up. Codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. She know he toxic. With codependencies, this is the devil card. Codependencies, addictions, whatever. It's, it's mess, messing up your love life. And she knows that. She knows the chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. It is, but it's not enough when it's toxic. Okay? Reconciliation is coming, feminine. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Like I said, I can't make this shit up. He's coming in here. And he's got something to say. So what do we have for the for the masculine? God, universe, angel, spirit, gods, and ancestors. What romance angel cards do we have for the divine masculine here in this spread? What romance angels do we have for the divine masculine? Okay. Make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So the masculine is being guided here. His steps are being guided here and he needs to make the effort. This is what the masculine needs to do. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. He knows this is the one. He knows this is his feminine, and he knows that he's already met her. He'll let your friends help you. Ask for help and accept uh, help from others. This masculine could need some type of help from the feminine or friends around him that he's asking for advice here. Um, yes, in religious factors here. This this masculine is have your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So it could be a difference in religious beliefs, and that's what's holding this masculine back here because maybe you are spiritual, and he's... Really raised in a church or you watching tarot he don't deal tarot you know it's all kind of things that could be happening but this masculine needs to let you know let his hands friends help him let somebody give him a new perspective on this healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this masculine as i said is healing his codependency he's healing his his um family issues Okay, and the feminine could have codependencies as well. She could be freeing herself from the codependency that she has to this masculine. Now, what mutual energy do we have for these twins? Mutual energy from the romance angels for this message for these mutual energy for the twins that we are reading for at this time. Mutual energy for the twins that we are reading for at this time. Trust. The situation is calling you to tr to have faith. So everything is happening the way it should be. You just got to trust the process. Trust the divine. Release your eggs. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so I don't feel like nobody has an eggs in the situation, and they could. But I do feel like it's mainly energy from the past here. Energy from an ex. Maybe, you know, like this is somebody holding on to. Maybe what this you're going to do with what my ex did to me. Or somebody could actually need to release their ex here. Children. Children, your love life is being affected by children here. There could be children. Somebody could have a child. And somebody could have an ex pregnant here. Okay? Shit. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday together. And if it's not children, this is something new here. Something new. Something marriage here. Somebody's releasing their ex because they know you're the one to trust in the process. And um, coming to start something new with you. Which could go into um, a relationship. But it says deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yes. Love yourself first. Yeah. So that's what I feel like. Both of the feminine and the masculine are going through healing. Um, at this time. But I do feel like there is some reconciliation happening here. Somewhere along down the line. And I don't know if y'all going to reconcile as just friends or y'all going to reconcile as lovers or but with the honeymoon card here, it looks like that it's going to be some type of lovers here. But first, people, y'all both got to love yourself and trust the process and trust each other. So, but yeah, that's what I got for you this time. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'm going to do like at least another one of these, maybe two. I don't know yet, but I'm about to probably click off of this and do exactly another one right after this one. And I might use different cards. I don't know yet. I don't know. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.